Shut up and sit down. Hi guys and welcome to another AK Interactive product review and tutorial and uh, this week I'm going to be doing the streaking grime for dark yellow vehicles which um, as you can tell in the background we started with uh, the chipping fluid last week um, I've had this one on the shelf for a long time um, use it quite a lot and decided it was about time it got its own uh, tutorial and a bit of a review so we've used it in a few tutorials but now we're just going to focus on the streaking grime itself the first thing you're going to want to do before adding streaking grime to any one of your models is apply a varnish to protect it I prefer to go with the uh, gloss varnish because it's easier to remove any mistakes that you make uh, you're going to find that useful because if you put too many layers of this on or it doesn't the pattern doesn't come out the way you want it to you can just uh, get a bit of turps and wipe it off that's odorless turps, the uh, artist grade stuff, not white spirits or something from a cheap shop. As you can tell, the uh, gloss varnish already there is uh, enabling the streaking ground to go straight through all the recesses. So if if you don't want to do an oil wash, you can easily just add streaking ground um, straight to all your gaps and give all the recesses a nice rusted effect. Usually we'd add, uh, do this with a oil wash, but uh, you can do it with either depending on the effect you want to go for. And I'm using my Windsor Newton Series 7, which I shouldn't be really, because this stuff can damage your brushes. I'd, you should really use you know, older brushes. And the application of this is really, really simple. It's going to be a case of we're going to add stuff, then we're going to take it away, then we're going to add it again. And what that's going to do is keep giving us layers of detail and different shade. But because um, we're going to remove it with um, slight traces of turps, it's going to blend all those lines together. So you're not going to get sharp lines where you don't want them. You're going to have a nice transition of colour. Now I'm being quite generous with it at the moment and then just sticking it on. Um, for this video we're going to be using AK Interactive White Spirit. Because this whole series is about AK Interactive products. I'm just going to pour a, a small amount of that into a shot glass. The reason for that is if you leave the lid open for these, it evaporates quite quickly and also you don't want to cross-contaminate any of your uh, white spirit with traces of what you've got on the brush. As you can see, I've been really generous at the back there with the uh, streaking grime. But the uh, general idea of this is to um, make your streaking mark with the streaking grime, then go from the left and right and then pull down and what will happen you're going to make it like a V shape and you just keep going to go keep going down at both those angles and as you do it's going to drag the streaking grime to a really really fine point and that's going to add loads of detail and I've actually put a little bit too much of the uh, white spirit on there but um, that's not going to be an issue because we can just use another brush and we can just uh, wipe all that away you can see how quickly I can uh, clean that up it will leave a slight stain but we're doing a big rusted bit of model so it's not really going to be an issue you can clean that right off and just keep layering that up there's going to be a lot of footage in this video of me just taking stuff away and adding more stuff um, just so you get the general gist of how it works it is best to take a bit of time with this um, rather than just throw it on and you know, be done with it the best results it's all about layering it up And you can see how quickly um, you can just remove that because and the gloss surface is helping protect it and helping the streaking grime move. In this particular case I'm actually blending them up as, as well as down. That's because I'm going to add extra layers to it later on. As you can see I'm just going on the left hand side at, a, at an angle and the right hand side and that's going to make a V shape of a white spirit around both edges of the streaking ground. I also decided that I'd uh, show you the different brush because um, this is another way of feathering this out. See what you can do is feather it out this way um, this is just a cheap pound shot brush but it's got lots of really soft bristles and putting a tiny bit of turps on the tips of those bristles and uh, just pulling the uh, streaking ground away It 
And you can also use this if you wanted to, to feather up and down and just take the whole lot off if you wanted to. And uh, as you can see, that result at the bottom there is coming out quite nice. And one of the reasons for that is I've pulled the streaking grime out of the recesses with this brush, which I think gives a really nice effect. Because there's no gap between the streaking grime and the join that the rust is supposed to be coming out of. As you can see, I've ended up washing most of that away with the brush. But what you're left with is these lovely streaks of rust and... Sorry, the camera's out of focus there. You get these lovely streaks of rust and also faded patches where there's a darker area. Now obviously it doesn't show up that well because it's got a gloss background but once you hit all this with a mat, you'll be able to see it better. So at the moment or the only way you can see what's on there is the matted version of the yellow. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep um, layering that up. I've let that dry for most of the day. It's also a really fun product to work with, this one guys, um, if you're doing a Death Guard army or even if you're doing a Space Marine army or anything, any kind of machine and you just want to add a little bit of um, colour to the metal work, it works really well for that. And they do have a big variety of these, I wouldn't say too big, I think there's like four, possibly four different streaking grimes, as you can see. I've um, added that little bit extra and then again I'm going to feather those out. You don't even have to be too neat. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake with this. You could just keep layering that one up. And feather it out, layer it up. And where you want the strongest recess, just go in with your small brush. Add a little bit more streaking grime at the um, fattest part of the point, And then feather that into the other colour. It does dry really well. It doesn't take too long to dry. Um, but I prefer to leave it over a long period of time to make sure it's set really well. And as I'm saying, you can see there that um, that rust doesn't start right at the top. But all I'd do then is go in with the small brush, add a um, little bit towards the recess and bring it down into the other grooves. And you can, you can even get a much stronger line of streaking grime across the, across the one you've already done, giving it a much darker color over the center part and uh, giving a much better effect. You see this stuff works really really well um, obviously I'm going to speed this up now because uh, you don't really need to see this for this see this um, me doing this for this long I guess but I um, wanted to show you quite like just how well it works and you can really bring those down to a very very fine point it's, it's so hard to mess this up um, it's a really decent product and um, unlike the last product that we were doing, the chipping fluid, this is easy for anyone to use because all you need is the brushes. So when it comes down to it, this product for us, this is going to get 9 out of 10 squigs because anyone can use this. You just need terps, some streaking grime and a bit of patience and um, you can really build up those layers and get some really cool effects. That's all there is for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe and we'll... Catch you in the next one.